it's Manila, baby. Well, not quite. You gotta go there to get here. Boracay, Philippines. It's definitely worth a trip. This is White Beach. It's the main tourism beach. It's about four kilometers long. It's lined with resorts, hotels, and restaurants. Directly across is the Bulabag Beach. It's the second most popular beach on the island, and it's mainly known for windsurfing and kite boarding. Sunsets are perfect, simply beautiful along the white beach. I'm going to show you how to get to Boracay. Here's how you do it. You go there, the iBook and Fly Travel and Tours here in the Eastwood City Cyber Mall. And you have a little chat. Uh, Kasama on <laughs> Kai Bigen Ko Lin. And she will hook you up with a great deal. Trust me, this time last year, she sent me to Palawan and it was awesome. I think it's my first time flying Air Asia. It's Kalibo time. They're shooing us out of the way of the plane. Safety first. Back door. 26. Air Asia was definitely the cheapest flight. I didn't even mind having a broken seat. Alibo! Right outside the airport and Kalibo, there are many little tents that'll sort of flag you down to get a transfer. The vans that run the transfer from Kalibo Airport to Cataclan will charge about 200 pesos. Some of the vans will include the 25 peso ferry fee in their fare. When you arrive at the port, you'll have to also pay for an environmental fee and a terminal fare fee in order to get on the boat. Looks like a real classy ride over. to Boracay Island. So easy to catch this little electric trike from the port. Wonderful that it doesn't have any of that terrible two-stroke engine gasolino smell.
villa was beautiful, relaxing, welcoming, very comfortable. It's less than a 10 minute walk to Boracay's White Beach, which was voted top seven in 2015 for beach destinations. First time just walking yes, out on the beach yes, here, sub with a kind, Boracay. Check this out, wow. It's unbelievable. The sun is hot and bright. The breeze is cool and sweet. The beach is amazing. Except for one little thing. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, we used to call this stuff turtle grass. And it certainly is not on the list of preferences when it comes to amazing beaches. However, it's not very prevalent, although it is all along the shoreline. There are areas where it's clear and once you sort of go out about 10 feet, you get past it. And the water, oh my God, the water is amazing. Check it out. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Really relaxing, peaceful, and nice here on Boracay Beach. There's a lot of little cool, convenient stores here. And uh, I haven't even bothered to walk down the beach. I don't know if you can tell, but that breeze is amazing. You can see it in the trees. Foot spa, lots of spas actually. I don't know if I'll check that out today or tomorrow, but we'll see. Boracay, out. Apparently, here on Boracay, around sundown, it's a pretty hot place to get a deal on a beach Rolex watch. Not my thing, but you know, in case you're in the market, now you know. Low tide. Okay, sir, thank you, sir. dinner on Boracay Beach here in the Philippines. It's pretty amazing. Check it out. I picked out dinner tonight from Aklan, caught in Aklan, because they don't let them catch the fish here in Boracay. Thank you. Dinner at the Paradise Grill was absolutely delicious. Highly recommended. Wow. I've had something tonight that I've never tried before and it's pretty amazing. Avocado shake. It's like avocado ice cream. It's bizarrely awesome. Kind of like uh, everything else around here. Borakai. It's dinner time. wonderful dinner on the beach. The villa is 
mostly home to a kiteboarding community. There are a few dogs and cats that live here. It's pretty nice. And there's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi rocks. Checking out the island. The breeze is amazing. It's it's warm, but it's it's comfortable.